one of the minikins. This is the cotton candy pouch. And the pattern is just for the pouch. This is the large size of the pouch. And my friend Shara made this for me and she added a strap to the sides. And the same technique can be used for any pouch accessory or maybe a bag that doesn't have a side strap, but you want to add a side strap. So I'm just going to show you really quick in the side camera how to add a side strap. It's really quick and easy. Okay, so first what you'll need is two bits of hardware. Okay, so let me show you the finished pouch. So there's a swivel clip which attaches to the strap right here. And then this is a D-ring right here which is attached to the tab which will be sewn to the body of the pouch. So this is the side panel of the pouch. You can use different combinations of purse hardware instead of a D-ring if you'd like to use a rectangle or a triangle ring. You can use different combinations, but I think a D-ring and a swivel clip are great places to start. Okay, so I'm going to use a swivel clip with a half inch wide opening just because that's a small project. And here's my D-ring. So the opening for both is the same, half an inch. And you'll need two pieces of fabric. I decided to attach my fabric to ShapeFlex interfacing just to reinforce it. So to decide how long and how wide to cut your fabric, I decided that I would like my tabs to be two inches tall and I feel like that's a fair amount for any tab and you'll need to do a little bit of multiplication. So the finished inside measurement of the D-ring and the swivel clip is a half an inch and you need, you need to multiply that by four because we're going to be doing a bit of pressing. So a half inch times four is also two inches. So I cut my piece of fabric and my interfacing two inches tall, which you'll do that regardless of how wide your purse hardware is by two inches wide. Okay, so next what I did was I pressed my tab in half, wrong sides together. I opened it out and I pressed in toward the center crease, which is kind of like making double fold bias tape. Okay, so that's what the finished piece of fabric looks like. And then I went ahead and tap, top stitched both of the long edges using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And I lengthened my stitch length just because once you get thicker layers of fabric, a longer stitch length looks, looks nicer so the stitches don't run all together. So I used a three millimeter stitch length for this top stitching. Okay, so now this is the step that you'll need to do to add the D-ring to the body of the pouch. Okay, so what I did is I sl slid that D-ring on there and from the wrong side, I'm going to do one of two things. So this example that I have right here of the cotton candy pouch, it was attached using a rivet right here. So it wasn't sewn in place. Danny's going to help me with that. It wasn't sewn in place. Thank you, Danny. Um, the, the rivet just attached it right here. So if you're going to be using a rivet, you'll need to, to make sure that rivet goes through both layers of fabric. So I just folded them down. As you can see, the rivet will go through both layers of fabric and you just want to hide that raw edge so that it doesn't show in the finished bag. So this right here, if you choose to use a rivet without sewing it in place, attach the rivet to the side panel of the bag. If you'd like to sew it in place instead of using a rivet, I suggest kind of butting up the raw edges together like this just so you don't have too much of a thickness. So this is what it'll look like from the wrong side. From the right side, you'll just anchor it down using two, two straight edges of stitching. So I'm going to sew about a quarter of an inch away from the hardware and also this lower edge, a quarter of an inch. And that will secure the tab to the side panel of the pouch if you decide to sew it in place instead of adding a rivet. So the process will be similar for making your strap. Again, you'll press it like double fold bias tape, just what I did with the tab, obviously a longer portion. And you can use either a rivet here. If you use a rivet on the tab, you'll likely want to match it up with a rivet on the strap. And alternately, you can also sew this in place. But this just goes through the swivel clip and makes it sort of uh, clip on and clip off. So you can have either a pouch or a small purse. So this quick technique will work for most any type of bag that you'd like to make, especially smaller projects like the cotton candy pouch. Okay, so I had a question that